Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're going to make a motion sensing alarm. Today you'll need the Arduino Uno microcontroller or any other Arduino or clone. You will need a motion sensor like this one. Okay, uh, you will need for that because it's got like three pins at the bottom, you'll need a male to female three cables, male to female, or well, if you've got female to female, like this, so you've got fe three female to female, you get them together, like this, you get them together like that, and you get three header pins, and you basically just stick them in, and that turns them into male to female. You'll also need a piezoelectric buzzer, like this one, I've done really bad soldering on the bottom of that one and a little breadboard will make it easier so first off let's have a little look at the buzzer so this is a little sketch of the buzzer a little sketch of this there is our buzzer now the buzzer has two uh, little legs now one of the legs needs to go to ground uh, and we're going to attach that to the ground pin on our Arduino and attach it to ground and the other side is going uh, to be going to a digital pin now it's going to a digital pin because uh, then we are able to control uh, when the buzzer is on and when the buzzer is off ok so there I have drawn a little sketch of the uh, PIR sensor, uh, which is this, so you're looking at it from this way and you've got your first pin, it's ground, which is negative voltage your middle pin is out, which we're going to connect to a digital pin and this one here is VCC, which is positive so they are your three pins on your uh, thing and you can just see there, you might not be able to see, no it's too blurred, but that's what we say so we're going to connect this to the ground on the Arduino, we're going to connect this uh, to digital pin 2 on the Arduino and we're going to connect this to uh, positive uh, 5 volts on our Arduino. So you need to get your PIR sensor here, you need to put them on your, you need to put it on, a, on your breadboard somewhere. You get your Arduino, I'm going to put that on the central so it doesn't fall over. You get your Arduino, now you will need to get yourself a couple of jumper cables. I'm going to get myself some of them. Right. And you connect the, uh, the first side to ground. So, you, uh, you might want to just make a little thing on, like my board hasn't got two side bits, but just connect an area of your board to ground. And then any of these pins can be used for ground, so connect one side of your motion sensing alarm to ground. So, I've got it wrong, no it's that side. Yeah. Yeah, that side. And then you can e need to connect your middle one to digital pin 8. No, sorry, 2. Yeah, connect it to 2. So your middle pin to 2. And then you need to connect your last pin to 5 volts. Now again, you might want to just make a little area on your board for 5 volts. Or, if you've got a, a normal breadboard, I'll just show you one of them. I don't know why I haven't used that one really, but if you've got one of these breadboards that has two of these side bits, it's, it, you just connect it to the sides. But yeah, again, make a little area on your board for 5 volts because you might need to use it again it's always good practice to do some and then you plug the final one into the final pin and then you've got your motion sensing alarm attached like that now you don't have to do this part I didn't include it on the things that you need because you don't need it but uh, it, is, it is a good thing to have on because it adds a bit to it in my opinion if you get a red LED like this one and you just plug it in here and that's going into digital pin 13 the longer side the anode the shorter side into and now you need to get your piezo buzzer on the breadboard uh, mine has just this second broken so i'm just going to get another one i've got a couple of spares uh, 
here we go. So you get your piezo buzzer, uh, like this, you put it on the breadboard, you connect one side of it to ground. This is my ground bit here. And then you connect one side of it to digital pin 10. That's a bit in the way. One side of it to digital pin 10. So, where's 10? There's 10. And then that is your wiring done for this project. So, that is your wiring. Uh, we're now going to have a little look at the code uh, behind this project. Uh, but as you can see, the actual uh, wiring is quite simple. Now, um, so let's just go through it again. We connected the piezo buzzer, the side on the left to ground. No, not. No, it's not. The side on the uh, far left to uh, 5 volts. The middle to digital pin 2. And the one on the right to uh, ground. Then we've got the piezo buzzer. We've connected one side to ground, one side to digital, to digital pin 10. And then this LED is, uh, we don't need to put it on the breadboard, you can if you want. But that's on to ground and pin 13, just straight onto the Arduino line. Alright then, let's have a look at the code. So, uh, the first five lines are setting up some integer variables for later on. So we've got int LED pin int input pin, int uh, PIR state, int val and int pin speaker. So int uh, LED pin equals 13, that is the pin that the LED is attached to. Then the input pin equals 10, that's the pin that the, uh, the PIR sensor is attached to. Uh, and then the int PIR state, well um, that's going to change from high or low depending on whether there is motion detected. The int val, that's a variable for the reading of the pin status. And then int pin speaker, uh, that, well it says equals 10, that is the uh, that is the speaker, what pin the speaker is attached to on our Arduino board because it's attached to digital pin 10. Uh, and then in the void setup we've got loads of pin modes. Um, we've got pin mode uh, LED pin output. Now we set that as an output because we're going to control whether we send out current or not, which will control whether the LED bright lights up or not. Because we want it to light up when there's motion detected, but there's no point it having there, you know, doing nothing. So uh, we're going to set that as an output. Then we're going to set uh, the input pin as an input. That's the uh, pin that the sensor is attached to. Uh, then we've got pin mode pin speaker output, so we are setting the uh, pin that the speaker is attached to, which is 10. We're setting that variable as an output, so we can control uh, the frequency of sound that the buzzer gives off, uh, controlling the amount of current again. And then we are starting the serial monitor at the standard rate of communication, six, uh, 9600. Uh, serial dot begin 9600. And then that's it for setting things up. Um, now we're going into the void loop. Uh, now we are creating kind of a new, it's not really a variable. I don't know, it is a variable really, yeah. So we're creating a variable uh, that is going to read uh, the input pin. The input pin is 2, we've already said that earlier on. So it's going to read the, uh, the sensor. Uh, and it's going to put that in a variable, and that's val. And then uh, we're saying if val is high, that means there is motion detected. Um, digital right to LED pin high, so it turns the LED on. Uh, it plays a tone, play tone, 300, 160, and then it delays for 150 milliseconds. Um, now the play tone bit, well that just plays a tone through the piezo electric buzzer. Okay. The next uh, if loop, uh, which is if PIR state equals low, it means we've just turned it on. Uh, so we want to print on the serial monitor motion detected. 
and then we want to put that's because we want to print the output change not the state and then we set the PIR state as high and then we start an else loop so if that bit doesn't come true we need to turn the LED off by using digital write we uh, don't play any tone through the buzzer so play tone naught comma naught we delay it for just under a third of a second and then if the PIR state equals high it means we've just turned it off so we want to print on the serial monitor uh, we want to print a new line so serial.print line motion, uh, motion ended and then we only want that's because we only want to print on the output change not the state and then the uh, PIR state equals low and then that very last part um, it's setting uh, how long the speaker is going to play for so that's just about 10 lines of code and it just sets how long the speaker is going to play for using some math stuff to work it out so that is all of the code for this project now if that uh, doesn't work check that all of your wires are connected properly that you uh, on your code on your arduino ide you've selected uh, your arduino board and the port it's connected to and if it still doesn't work just post a comment in the comment section and ask about it thanks for watching and be sure to watch my many other arduino videos